When we are younger, pastors, we walk and walk and walk and walk and never take a time off. Please don't accommodate some of those things. It's not right for you. You just die quickly and Jesus will find somebody to replace you. He is not lacking people though. There are 7.9 billion on this earth. He can replace you. He can get an unbeliever born again today, make him a pastor tomorrow. You are not hearing me. And he will carry more fire than you. All of this work from Sunday to Saturday without rest is not biblical. It's not biblical though. Don't believe it because some father said it. All of this walking for 18 hours is not biblical. Don't do it. You are in impact now. Don't do it. Are there not 12 hours in which men ought to walk? That is in the Bible. We don't quote that one. There are 12 hours in which men ought to walk. So the maximum allowed time of walk in a day is how much? 12 hours. Maxim. So don't kill yourself. If you have my voice, say yes. yes. That somebody said it doesn't mean it's true. Chop life small. <laughs> if you have me, say yes. <laughs> and God rested on the seventh day. Not because God was tired, omnipotence doesn't tire. He didn't rest because he was tired. Now, when I say things like that, some younger pastors say, well, they say that because they don't want us to succeed. I'm saying that because I don't want you to die. When I mean die, I don't mean just physical death. I mean marital death. I mean emotional death. I mean the death of your humanity. There are a lot of people who are successful who are not human. There's nobody in their family that can call them a friend. There's no friend that can actually sit down and have a gist with them. No, you're not hearing me. They have no time for nothing. All they have is a big name and a big house and a big uh, church and a big uh, bank account and all of that. But everything that's practically human is not in them. Don't live like that. That's not life. When some men of God tell me they've traveled around the world, I look at them and smile. I say, sir, you have not been anywhere. You fly it on Tuesday. You fly out on Friday. You preach two seminars. You never has been to any part of any city on this earth. If you have never spent one day out of Nigeria on a Sunday, that means your family has never had a full holiday once since you raised those children. I don't want you to live like that. They are not hearing me. That, is, that generation is gone. This generation can't tolerate that. Don't live like that. You will pay a huge price with your children. When we are younger, we didn't know anything, but now everybody is holding a phone. They are surfing online. They are seeing options that you didn't know. That's it. If you have my voice, say yes. So we are not, it's not being critical. It's telling you that there is an upgrade of the software. You didn't hear me. Whatever they taught you, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Tell your neighbor, upgrade. 